recently we had our 72nd Carver Day celebration here at the park. And I got to think, and that was my 38th year of attending a Carver Day celebration, which is, you know, a commemorative day that we look at different facets of his life. It's one of our biggest attendance days. That particular morning, I arrived early, and as I was coming across the lawn and enjoying the prairie wildflowers and the tall grasses and the woodlands, the squirrels and rabbits, everything, it's just, it was beautiful for people of all ages, all generations, a place to rejuvenate, to stand in awe of nature, to be inspired by Dr. Carver's story. And then I looked around and I saw the staff arriving, volunteers were arriving that day. We had over 100 volunteers come in and help us with that particular special event. And it just seemed to make sense that, you know, it was a beautiful moment taking in the park, this special event, the giving spirit of everyone that was here that day, the reason behind all the hard work, and everyone making this concerted effort, all in the honor of George Washington Carver. Mom, you've certainly shared that passion with me and all of our family. You would quote Dr. Carver often, whether that was in appreciation to be grateful for the circumstances we were in or to reprimand us for something we had done wrong. What quotes do you love from Dr. Carver the most? There's one that I really like about life of service, which obviously is what he did for so long. You know, it's 47 years of service at Tuskegee, trying to improve the situation down there for his people. And his quote goes like this, Selfishness and self are at the bottom of a lot of the troubles in the world. So many people fail to realize that serving God and one's fellow man are the only worthwhile things in life. It is service that counts. And I have tried to take that personally and apply it, be altruistic, think of others before myself, and, and of course, impact the ones that I can impact most, which is my, my children. And what a great legacy you've laid before us, Mom, so that we can follow in those footsteps. I knew since seventh grade I wanted to be in the National Park Service. I remember exactly where I was in seventh grade when we had come here for our annual field trip. And we were at the start of the trail, which is the cabin of Carver's birthplace. You were talking there, educating with such passion and love for what you did. In that moment, I felt this is the direction you want to head. You want to be right there where your mom is. And since then, everything that I've done has worked towards that goal. Mm-hmm.